Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sani from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. In our today's session, you are going to learn how to create a links for your chatbot. Right? In the last session, you have seen we have created a chatbot in which we had created some buttons. Or let's say instead of writing the direct text, what we can do is we can give options to your user to directly select those buttons, right? So this is what we have done in the last session. So today what I want is like here you can see in the last session, we have a small chat in between the bot and the user in which when the bot will ask you a question, what would you prefer vegetarian or non vegetarian? You will click in any one of the options like the vegetarian or the non vegetarian. Like in my case, I have clicked on vegetarian and after that I got a reply something like this, like here you can see it looks something uh, very odd, right? Like only few elements or let's say only few items are displayed here and it doesn't even look nice, right? So what I want to do is instead of showing this message or let's say instead of showing this direct text, I just want to display an image here, right? So that will look quite attractive and it will be like very easy for the user to select either of the options, either for the vegetarian or for the non vegetarian, right? So in that way, I can just give a better option or let's say an attractive option for the user. So for that, let's see how to do that part, right? So let's go back to the program and in the program, what I have to do is I have to make changes to the question that the user will ask or let's say to the reply or the response that the bot will reply with right like here we can see we have mixed veg or something like this so this is a reply that a bot has given to the user so this is where we have to make changes so here you can um, assume like or let's say here you can consider where we have to make the changes right because whatever reply a bot will make that is written inside the domain file so inside domain file, we have to make changes and accordingly we have to set whatever we want to do for that. So let's go here, right? So this is utter vegetarian, utter non vegetarian. Here you can see utter veg is the reply which the bot is replying with. Similarly, utter non veg will be the reply for the non vegetarian part, right? So here, what I want to do is instead of writing all these stuff here, I just want to do is let's say here are the options or not let's say options let's say here are the meals for you right so after that and one more thing you can see when I have written this column over here it is showing me some errors so what I can do is I can just pass it inside the double quotation so that it can accept this colon as well because here you can see whenever you will write the colon it will consider it as some argument to which you are passing some of the values right so this is how we can just uh, do that part and after that when you are done with this what I have to do is instead of passing the direct text what I have to do I have to pass an image right so for that I have to write image image is an argument and after that I have to pass a link within the quotations right so this is how I have to pass it but what image do I am going to pass over here right so for that let's go to the Google and for the easiness I have already searched two images one for the non vegetarian part and one for the vegetarian part so this is an image for the vegetarian part and this is the image for the non vegetarian part so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write for the vegetarian part. So let's do one thing. Let's just copy this link and paste it here. So what will happen when you will, uh, not you, when the bot will reply with this response at that time, the bot will say, here are the meals for you. And with this reply, the bot will show you this image, right? So this is how it's going to happen. Similarly, the same thing I'm going to do it for the non vegetarian part as well. So let's just make the changes here. Right. So it is done. 
now what i have done is i have written the link for your vegetarian part i have added the link for your non vegetarian part so both parts are done now what i have to do is i have to go to the next part and you already know what is the next part right so firstly let's just close this let's just close this by pressing control c so it will directly stop the execution part now rasa x not rasa x rasa train right press enter so it will start the training part and now you can see most of the part were same only the domain file were changed so that's why it didn't took that much time now let's run rasa x and press enter now click here click here okay make it active now let's talk to the bot here just say hi how can i help you sir so it's the reply let's say what can i get to eat the bot will reply with these buttons let's say i want the non vegetarian part so i'll click on the non vegetarian part so what will happen let's see yeah here you can see here this time we are having an image and that image is completely been shown and you can see all the options all the menu which you can select over here right so this is how it's going to happen now let's check it for the vegetarian part as well so for that we are having an option just clear it from here so say hi again say now let's select the vegetarian part see here you can see all the things right so this is how it's going to happen this is how you can add your add the image of your choice so you can accordingly select whatever image you want to select for your chatbot and according to that you can ask your bot to reply with that right so this is the complete part how you can add the image with the links from anywhere in the world right and this was it for your today session i hope everything was very clear to you but still if you are having any of the queries regarding the topic then you can definitely leave a comment below in the comment section and if you have liked this video then do click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any of my video till then bye bye and thanks for watching